Now let's see the another query option that is the dollar inline count. Dollar inline count is used to get the oral count with the in the, in the entity sets. Taken example, suppose if we have implemented an entity set and we not implemented the code logic for dollar inline count. So the response before implementing the inline count is we'll get the number of records. We'll get the records in the output, but we cannot see total how many records are there in the output. So if along with the data, if along with this data, if you want to know how many records are there in that entity set, then you can make use of this dollar inline count. So for that, when some small code logic is required, so once we pass in the URL that is dollar inline code uh, inline count equal to all pages, then here in the entity set method, first we have to read from this IO underscore text request context whether dollar inline count is about true or not, means whether it is requested by the URL or not. If it is requested by the URL, then in this exporting parameter that is es underscore response context there is one field called inline con we simply need to describe the internal table lines into an inline con and suppose if this has inline con is false then just only clear the inline con so this code logic we need to implement for getting the number of records in the output as a con so if we add this additional query parameter in the URL that is question mark dollar inline call equal to all pages and if we execute this query, uh, query then along with the records we can also see here the number like in my entity set there are 30 cons so we can read the cons from here now what is the difference between a dollar con and dollar inline con equal to all pages if you fire a query along with dollar count then in output we can see only the number of records that is 30 we cannot see the data but with the addition of dollar inline count along with the number of records we can also see the data so this is the difference between dollar count and dollar inline count now let's implement this logic into our OELTA service for that go to our OETA service DPC extension class as this dollar inline count required code implementation for that go to our header set and get into the set so here last we had implemented this dollar filter now we are adding the logic for dollar inline count so as I explained first we need to check whether the inline count requested by the system or not so here we can see there's an importing parameter we can use the instance method of this and we can pass the number of records in the ES underscore response so here if we double click on this interface so here you can check there is one method cause has inline con. So if this is true, then you can pass the number of records in the output. So for that, simply write if IO underscore the technical field, uh, the tech request context, if IO underscore tech request context has inline con equals to adapt true then simply describe table and in which table we have a record in the entity underscore set so we simply need to describe table et underscore entity set lines where and its response one inline count else 
and if we need to clear this variable in the response this is very simple only two three lines of code save check and the inline count is unknown okay let me check yes this will give error to solve that error in the has inline count we have to add this bracket and also we need to here add the clear so requirement is if the system has requested the URL request the inline count we need to compare which is about true just read the described table lines into this inline count else just clear the response inline count now save check activate no error go back now do the testing by going to the service maintenance click on maintain okay let me put a break point so that we can check so I will set an external breakpoint here for that put the cursor here click on set external breakpoint go back now we'll test the service go to gateway client select the entity set so first initially I'm not passing the inline count and just executing this query so you can see here the inline count if I press F6 okay it is false because the inline count is not true here the system is going to clear the record and if you execute so in the output we can see the data but there is no count, no count option now let's add the URL option URI option that is dollar inline count equal to all pages now again trigger the same or this time my breakpoint is not triggered but here we can see here we got the output along with the data this time we have the count equal to 30 okay and first time if I remove this will not get this count 30 let me cross check the values in my table go to SC16 this is the table from where I am selecting the records if I execute we can see 30 records are there so this is this is how we can use the dollar inline count in our OETA service. Thank you.